Hi everyone and thanks for stopping by for this tutorial. I finally finished the tutorial that I mentioned in my past two videos. It's a project that I've been working on since April. And it all started because I was inspired by a blog post of Addie Marie's where she showed a really cute dress she made and I decided I wanted to try and make a skirt based on the lower part of the dress and I was a little nervous to get started because I've been doing so much of my sewing from patterns lately but after some encouragement from Addie I started in and ended up with a skirt that I really like so here's the tutorial and I hope you like it the supplies you'll need are one and a half to two yards of jersey knit one inch wide elastic thread a marking tool, straight pens, a yardstick, and a safety pen. Decide how long you want your skirt to be and add six more inches to that number. Mark and cut your fabric to that length and leave it the entire width of your fabric. Mark and cut out a trapezoid shape that is your waist measurement plus seam allowance at the top and flares at the bottom. This needs to be six inches shorter than you want your finished skirt to be. So if you want your skirt to be 25 inches long, cut this piece 19 inches. Mark and cut out your waistband five inches wide and half of your waist measurement plus seam allowance. Line up your waistband pieces right sides together, pin and sew. Repeat with your trapezoid pieces. These will be your lining. Start pleating your outer pieces in about one inch pleats. Pin down each pleat to secure. When you get a few inches from the edge, pin right sides together and sew down the side. You can then form the rest of your pleats and partially hide the seam in one of your pleats. Check to make sure your pleated piece equals your waist measurement. If it doesn't, then adjust the size of your pleats until it does. Then you can sew all of your pleats down, removing your pins as you go. Sew in the same direction as the pleats and they will lay flatter. Line up your waistbands right side to your pleated pieces right side and your linings wrong side to the pleated wrong side. This way your seams will be on the inside. Sew the three pieces together. Fold the unsewn edge of your waistband under and pin. Sew it down leaving a two inch opening. Gather the bottom edge of the pleated piece until it has the same circumference as the lining piece. Pen both together and sew. Now back to the opening in the waistband. Measure out how much elastic you need, attach a safety pen, and feed through the opening. Securely sew the elastic ends together, then sew the opening closed. Thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And keep an eye out because I'm going to try to do some t-shirt surgeries or reconstruction videos soon. So I will see you then. Bye. This is another project that I'm working on. It's a small patchwork wall quilt made entirely from vintage sheet scraps left over from other projects.